guys, Mikey Swartz here. Just got over here to my dealership. I just bought this 94 Honda Civic hatchback and I haven't had one of these for quite a while. I got this thing on an online auction uh, for pretty cheap. I think it was pretty cheap. I think I paid, uh, I paid like six something for it, 600 something for it, which is a pretty good deal. It's all original. Uh, it looks like hell. You know, it must have been sitting outside like under a tree, just filthy, but I think it'll clean up pretty nice. For Pennsylvania, this isn't bad. Just a tiny little bit of rust on this. Uh, in my opinion, these things are becoming collectible right now, which is why I'm trying to buy up a few of them. Uh, this one is a 94, it's a five speed DX. It's definitely a little, a little nasty inside. Uh, some mold in the back seat. Ooh, CRV floor mats. Ew, ugh, ugh. Five speed, that's nice. A lot of these, you know, the five speeds are all torn up by now. Or really, they were torn up 10 years ago. Now, if you could find one like this that isn't modified or anything, I am a big Honda fan, if you didn't know, especially Civics. So, pretty happy to get this thing. Uh, a little crack in the windshield. Here is a little ripped up, but overall not bad. Someone probably replaced this because it has a tack in the dash. I don't think these came with a tack in the dash. Not a DX hatchback anyway. Um, looks like the hood doesn't close. I'm sure this tape held it just fine though. Oh Christ. This will be an easy fix. These hood latches get stuck. That's probably all it is, you know. Single cam still intact. Got a little moisture there a little leak or whatever but this thing looks all pretty original i don't think it's been painted or anything original hood still got the stickers on it Let's see if the shuts nope huh. i'll figure it out no big deal the auction said that it runs and drives although i haven't started it up yet and i don't think i'm gonna bother right now i like it now i got another one around here somewhere this one has 155,000 miles on it which i wouldn't really say is like low but it's really not terrible either here's the other one i got now this one this one is an ek it's a 96 but this one only has 77,000 miles on it and it's also a dx hatchback now this one's automatic uh look at the miles oh yeah i better redo that without the key in it So, so this one, this one is an EK. It's actually a 96. And I bought this one just last week. Didn't make a video of it, but now that I got two of them, I figure I might as well do a video. You know, two birds, one stone. Uh, this one only has 77,000 miles, which makes it a really low mile car, especially for a Honda Civic. I don't know if you can see the miles or if it's too dark. And this one has really pretty clean interior. Uh, it's not it's not 100% perfect, but it's all original Which is what you would want for a car that's collectible even though, you know, it might be a little early to call this collectible but I Know damn well these things got all tore up in the fast and the furious years, you know I mean I personally ruined a whole lot of them I don't want to say I ruined them, but a lot of kids got them, you know, a lot of young kids got them like first car and just started spray painting stuff, tearing it apart and like, you know, cutting the coil springs and ripping exhausts off, stuff like that. And we all did it. Hey man, I mean, we all did it. The EG has got to be my all time favorite, the 92 to 95. Uh, that body style came out like right when I was getting my driver's license, you know, that car was pretty hot on the market and uh, it'll probably always be be with me the love that i have for those cars i love them they're so awesome you know like the eg hatchbacks uh it's like a like a 2000 to 2100 pound car and you can easily do an engine swap put a turbo on it you can make it like a four to 600 horsepower car without too much uh aggravation i'll call it you know like really you could just throw a turbo on a single cam, I mean, we used to do it. Turbo, single cam, make it 200, couple horsepower. You have a really fast car. Uh, 
but that's the reason why i want some original ones like these because they're not modified and that will make them a little more collectible than something that's been you know modified like in poor taste or what's the word for it like cheesily modified i guess i'll say i mean but all original that's the best thing for it and uh yeah i'll be happy to take these out now and then cruise them around you know like in 10 or 20 more years when no one has one and i'll be that guy riding around in an all stock ek hatchback with 77,000 miles on it i'll be the man hey while i'm here take a look at this bad doggy all-wheel drive ek civic uh, i built this thing a while ago and it's oh oh did you hear that just got piped this thing's been sitting back here for a little while i bumped into it with the skid loader you know uh it's a shame i should probably sell this thing um because i don't really know if, if i'll ever put the time back into it it was a fun car to have it was a fun car to build but i broke it a lot and i just never fixed it last time so here it is maybe maybe someone will want this thing let me know guys all right guys thanks for watching the video make sure to leave a comment subscribe to this new channel and share the videos and junk i'm out what's going on like, what the hell are you doing you just see me back here <laughs> Check out your new Civic. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, let's take a look at it. Now Ogre's here to help yeah. us look at it. Just extended this video out a little bit. Now besides the fact that it looks like it's been sitting in our tree for about two years. Yeah. You see the inspection stickers are right on 17, which means it's been probably sitting for at least a year and a half, probably. Yeah. You like the hot air intake. Yeah, one hot air intake. So it's not all original. I was saying it's all original. This doesn't even count, and I probably have an intake to put yeah, on it. That's, you know, that's all something. you need is that. Yeah, and, and these were all pretty much the same. It's probably leaking like a freight train. Yeah, yep, I noticed that. Not a big deal. It's an easy fix. But you try to start it yet? I didn't. No, I didn't mess with it. Pop, pop the trunk too. Like the trunk opens right up. Did you check out your? Uh... Back here. Oh no, I wanted to see that. Yeah, dude, check this out. You said free bonus. So there's a stereo. This is what's cool about these EG hatchbacks. They had the tailgate. Boop. And oh, the free bonus. Dude, it's a one MTX too. sub. Is there an amp attached to it? Oh no, someone ruined this thing with the oh, speakers. Oh, that oh, sucks. Dude. Yeah. So, well, so for those of you who don't know, <laughs> these things are actually really expensive on they eBay. They bring some money if you got an, an original one that's not cut, but at least they put like real speakers in it. That's kind of sucks that they cut them though. Um, there should be probably an amp. Yeah, there's an amp back there. And it's got a serious satellite radio system. Let's see what this amp is. Quality looks like a Sony to me. Sony yep. Quality amp. <laughs> Extra sub for the ambulance. Yeah. Oh my god. <laughs> just put it in one of the toolboxes. Yeah, it's just right. filthy. It's gonna come out nice. Got a little bit of rust, but it's not bad. Yeah. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. That that's not bad. I mean, that's pretty easy fix for a body shop. All right, Ogre. Now that you've ruined my video, you want to tell them what to do? Like, comment, subscribe, share. Make sure everyone watches this. It's sweet.